definitely within the next few years, possibly even sooner, uh, you know, we're going to start, we're going to slide back into a recession. Um, well, I mean, in the real world, we never left the recession, but, the, you know, the stock market is obviously through the roof right now. And so, uh, you know, the people who are already rich are getting even more rich. But um, but that's not going to last forever. It's going to last for a few more years at the most, and and then uh, they're going to we're going to start sliding back into a recession. Hmm. It's, it's gonna it's gonna look a lot like the 1970s uh, the stagflation, where wages were stagnant but prices were through the roof, and uh, people are going to turn to gold and Bitcoin. And so anybody who's holding a substantial amount of both are they're going to be really well off in a few years. Uh huh. Would you apply that as well to you know other metals like silver, and also would you apply it to other cryptocurrencies? Yeah, definitely. Silver always goes up with gold uh, because it's like silver is like the secondary, the, the secondary uh, currency to, to gold. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like it's like silver gold's is the little, silver to gold's gold. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like. It, it, silver is like gold's little brother, you know. Uh, so, Aww. so, so like when when gold used to be used as money instead of instead of you know pieces of paper, uh, the really big uh, transactions would be used in gold. Like if you're buying something that costed like a hundred bucks, you'd pay for it with gold. And then, but if it was like, you know, a hundred dollars and like fifty cents, you'd pay you know the fifty cents with silver. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, uh, so anytime gold goes up, silver goes up too because you know they're just linked together like that because uh, they've always been used together. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin is just like a you know like a really awesome version of digital version of gold. So of course it's mm -hmm. gonna go up. Um, but, but what as far about as other like, altcoins like yeah, Litecoin, as, dark coin As far as other altcoins. Uh, like especially Litecoin, uh, you know, I don't really know because uh, you know you don't really need to have um, a less valuable cryptocurrency because you can break Bitcoin down to eight decimal right. places. Yeah, but there's a hundred million satoshis in a Bitcoin. Yeah, but um, Li Litecoin could always go up, or another cryptocurrency could always go up. Um, Maybe you know, maybe in the emerging markets where the people are poor and the population is higher, so they need, you know, maybe a less valuable currency, but it has a higher supply. You know, Litecoin would be good for that because there's a much higher supply. There, there are much, a lot more of it than than bitcoins. So, but really, I think the only way that an altcoin is going to like skyrocket along with Bitcoin is if it is. Um, you know, successfully competing head to head with Bitcoin, like like it offers something that Bitcoin doesn't offer. Yes. You know, so like so like maybe Darkcoin, which makes it completely anonymous, where you know Bitcoin is really like kind of only pretend anonymous. You know, and unless you unless you do it right, yeah. you know, um, or you know, or something like that. But who knows? I mean, it could be a possibility that once Bitcoin skyrockets, people get more interested in altcoins, um, especially, you know, like the secondary ones that aren't meant to compete with Bitcoin directly, you know, the ones like Redcoin or Dogecoin or something. Mm. You know, people people who get in on Bitcoin might be interested in investing in those smaller coins, yeah. um, and then those could go up too, you know? Yeah. You know, I... Like it's it's really hard to predict, you know, the action, the price movements of altcoins. Even more difficult in some ways than predicting Bitcoin price movements. But like, I, it seems like a lot of value that people place into particular altcoins depends on their branding, not necessarily with their actual functions. So, like for example, um, with Litecoin, Litecoin was obviously the successor or the the second Bitcoin. Back then, people were saying Litecoin is the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Uh, it'll it'll be used to transact in smaller amounts. It'll it'll be used for microtransactions, you know, less valuable payments, save Bitcoin while spending Litecoin, stuff like that. And um, it it hasn't exactly panned out that way. Like if you want to pay in small amounts, Bitcoin is still perfectly fine for that. And 
you know, Litecoin has experienced a pretty significant drop over the past few months in 2014. And I think it's because that uh, the idea that Litecoin is the silver to Bitcoin's gold, that's just that's just a marketing slogan at the end of the day. And the fact that the Litecoin logo itself is silver, like they're obviously, they were obviously trying to p position themselves as the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Um, and then there's Darkcoin, which markets itself, itself as anonymous. Um, you know, Purecoin markets itself as, you know, the, um, it's, it's environmentally friendly because it doesn't use as much processing power. Um, but, like, it's hard to find one that actually has really good features that complement Bitcoin. Um, you know, Namecoin is, is an example of that. Something that actually makes something different than Bitcoin does. Because Bitcoin, it actually, Bitcoin is a, is a, is a pretty good, um, it's a revolutionary currency. And to make something that is a better currency than Bitcoin, um, at this point, that's really, really hard to do especially considering the head start that Bitcoin has had and the network effect of spreading to merchants and industry insiders around the world. So, you know, it's possible that we might see altcoins rise again, um, but I think it, it would only be because of, of marketing reasons, if they market it correctly or if it provides something truly revol re revolutionary in terms of... Um, you know, in terms of functionality, but we haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I actually wrote an article about um, an altcoin's role in a world that was dominated by Bitcoin, where Bitcoin was the, you know, exclusive currency, number one currency of choice in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think really that's the only way an altcoin would thrive alongside Bitcoin, because you know. Um, obviously, if we're considering a world where everyone uses Bitcoin, it's going to be, you know, well into the future. So the population is going to be uh, extremely high. You know, you know, several tens of billions of people on the Earth. There's only 22 million Bitcoins. Um, a lot of those are in wallets that will never ever be used again because they were lost back when it was, you know, worthless and nobody cared about it. Yeah. So. Um, there's a very small amount of bitcoins, and it's possible that the population could increase to the point where even even if you start using satoshis as an everyday uh, as an everyday uh, unit, monetary unit, uh -huh. there would still be more, uh, way more people on Earth than there are satoshis. So then we can con like we could conceive of a world where like um, where like back when gold and silver was used. You know the 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 rich industrialized countries use gold while the developing countries use silver. That would kind of be how like how it would look in this world. Like you know the richer the the richer communities would use Bitcoin, uh, where you know the poor communities that have like really huge populations and really poor economies would use something like Litecoin, because the the Litecoin supply is much. Like I think there's several billion Litecoins that can be mined. Um, so while it may like never be as valuable, it'd be more accessible, and it would help poor people get off the ground, and they could eventually start using Bitcoin. But in like re like in the real world today's economy, like if we look at it realistically, there's just not really any use for something like Litecoin. You know, like um, yeah, I I think I think right now. Uh, in the in the short term, not looking at like a hundred years into the future, but like you know five or ten years from now, the only altcoins that are gonna like be worth anything are gonna be the ones uh, that aren't like trying to compete directly with Bitcoin. You know, like I said, maybe like Redcoin or you know something else like Redcoin. I don't know. And, it's um, trying to be the social currency, right? Yeah, yeah. Like they're they're not really trying to like beat Bitcoin. They're not trying to compete with it. They're just using the idea of, of of cryptocurrency to make something, you know, to make something new. And those are going to be the coins that have value in in the future and uh, things that were created to compete with Bitcoin, namely Litecoin. 
They're just, they're probably not going to be around much longer. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, good luck, altcoins. Uh, more power to the ones that actually do something interesting with the technology.